It is really pretty. I'm a man without a smartwatch team. I've shared my bias on phones and headphones, but I've never really broken down my watch preferences. Here's what I want in a wearable. I want rich notification support. Don't just interrupt my day, let me respond, preferably with voice to text. I want all day background heart rate tracking. I hate when I have to babysit gadgets. Okay, I'm going to do my workout now, watch and let me push and swipe five times to get to the thing I'm doing. Not just for workouts, I want that data when I'm resting. I wanna see stress levels when I'm commuting and then when I choose, I can record more granular workouts. I want multi-day battery life. If I go a whole day and sleep track at night, I shouldn't have to immediately recharge the next morning. That's lame when a gadget requires that kind of power management babysitting. I prefer an always on display. I do a lot of writing. I do a lot of editing. I get a lot of notifications. I hate moving my arm around to activate a screen for a notification, which I'm probably going to ignore. That adds to my distractions. I love classic timepieces. While I'm doing something else, I can just glance down at my wrist and get a small piece of information, uh, the time, delivered right to my eyeballs. I should never have to interrupt what I'm doing to waggle my hand around to convince my watch I really mean it that I want to see what it just alerted me to see. Lastly, this is such a small thing, but I really want a good Bluetooth leash notification. Why is it so rare for watches to notify you when you drop connection from your phone? It's a great peace of mind feature, knowing you can't be too far from your phone before your watch gives you a heads up. Apparently, it's completely impossible to provide all of these things in one wrist-worn gadget. So judged by that criteria, and getting back to the product that's in the title of this video, the Huawei GT is the prettiest fitness tracker I've ever used, but it's not a proper smartwatch. Basically, we get a gorgeous color screen refresh of their previous touchscreen round monochrome fitness watch. On-screen operation, the swipes and gestures feels a bit like Wear OS, but with limited notification support, and very little app integration. That's a bummer. When I'm in the middle of a workout, even canned responses to notifications would be handy. The limited feature set comes with some benefits though. This watch is noticeably thinner than Wear OS watches I've used in the past. And a leaner operating system means we get gobs of battery life. I went six solid days and nights on my first full charge. That's huge for a color screen wearable with all day heart rate tracking. It's an interesting position for a product. It blends in really well against Apple watches and gears, though it lacks significant smart functionality, but it's a fair bit cheaper than those solutions too. At this price, the fairer comparison is against something like a Fitbit Versa, which the GT is nearly perfectly equipped to compete against. There's a lot I like about this gadget and how it wears, and I think this is a solid recommend for folks who want a nicer looking fitness band. Something that can go from the gym to a nice dinner without having to swap it out. It's a tougher recommendation for those of us who want more smart features though. I feel like I need a different wearable for phone controls and then I'm happy to wear this for my sporty activities. I like collecting watches, but that kind of accessorizing gets pricey and this is becoming a bit much to manage. It does have a really nice leash notification though, so that's pretty cool. I'll of course drop some links in the description down below this video where you can find more information on the Huawei GT. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, not just talking about fun accessories and cool fitness gadget wearables, so many more conversations we need to have about getting the most out of our gadget purchases. If you'd like to help support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguy.com where you will find a support banner with a current list of all my affiliates and partnerships, or you could consider uh, supporting directly through my Patreon page, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Uh, it's home to all of my exclusive patron reviews and it's becoming a really fun community of like-minded tech pals. I hope you'll check it out. All right, now you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitches, and I will catch you all on the next video. As a quick aside for what this list represents, I think the closest we've gotten is the Pebble. If I could have gotten a Pebble with this always on color display and 
all day background heart rate tracking, I think I would have found my perfect wearable. 